Hello and welcome to Flash uh, Chapter 8, Lesson 1, Building Complex Animations. Now, in this particular one, they have created three leaves. And what's going on is basically you're able to see the animations with the leaves, uh, the animation that's already been created for you, and able to tell the difference. For instance, the leaf animated using the main timeline, the leaf animated with a graphic symbol, both of which can be interfered with, with the stop action, a pause action, things along those lines. The leaf animated with a movie clip symbol will only play when you test the movie and will not be affected by the main timeline. So, um, basically what's happening is, you know, uh, in our particular case, we're right here, the leaf animates as we go through. And if I, you know, run it, the leaf animates great. So the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to click Scene 1, right? Eh, insert a new layer above the leaf layer to name it GS Leaf. Right? So we've got our leaf movie clip. Um, let me panel to play the animation. I'm going to make sure. And then we go back. All right. So what we're doing is we're able to see that there's an actual animation going on. And then I want to insert my new layer. So Insert Timeline Layer. There's my new layer. And I want to call this GS Leaf. So GS underscore Leaf. There we go. Now I said click frame one. Here's frame one. On the GS Leaf, then drag the leaf graphic symbol from the library panel to the stage above the. So I want my leaf graphic symbol. Uh, the leaf graphic symbol version. All right, so here we go. I grab this. Here's my leaf graphic symbol. Notice it's exactly the same as the other one. And then we're going to press enter, and they both move because I've got the two different types of graphics animations, but they're both animated the same way. Then I want to insert a new layer, so insert timeline layer, and this layer is uh, Flash 8-8 -8 working with a movie clip, and all that's going on here, I want to call this MC Leaf, MC standing for movie clip, MC Leaf. And then from there, I want to drag the leaf movie clip from here, and I want to move it right here. Now you'll notice, now I want to click frame one on the MC leaf, and I'm going to press enter. It doesn't actually do anything because of the fact that they don't actually play, the movie clip doesn't actually play until we uh, test the movie. So if I come along and I test the, test the movie, in Flash Professional, all of them are working exactly like they should. Kind of hypnotic with the freaking leaves going back and forth. Now, I've done that part of it. Now I want to insert a new layer above the MC leaf. So I want to insert timeline layer. So there's my new layer. And I'm going to name this one stop action. So stop action. Now what I'm going to do when I'm working with this is it's going to directly affect the leaf animation uh, both the graphic symbol and on the main timeline, it will not affect the movie clip because the movie clip is something totally separate. So I want to insert a keyframe in frame 8. So here's roughly where frame 8 is, right there. Open the actions panel, and I'm going to do my actions where that's concerned. And I want to verify that stop action is displayed in the lower left. I want to click add a new item to the script. So I'm going to add my new item. And I want to do global functions, and I want to do timeline control stop, right? So here's my stop. So what I'm doing is I'm inserting a stop action on it. So what's going to happen is those stop actions are then going to be interfered with. You know, I'll get to my stop action, and it should. So let's do this again. So I've, let's see, insert timeline now, let's let's try to do control. Let's see if it actually worked. Yep, there's my stop action because I'm on eight. Now, if I move this back here, let's do commands. Oops, excuse me. Control, test movie in Flash Professional, and they're not working because I got the set. It says the first two instances move briefly and then stop. I'm going to close the Flash Player window, and let's see. Click frame. Oh. I'm now I'm going to go here on frame 8, and I'm going to clear the time frame. So we're going to do timeline, click clear time frame. So I'm going to do uh, modify timeline, 
and I should be able to clear the keyframe, but apparently it didn't actually step it in. So let's go here. I'm going to do modify timeline. Oh, that's perfect. I accidentally inserted the uh, stop action, which is my action right there, on the first keyframe, and that's why they didn't move. If I clear that keyframe and insert it where I was supposed to be, which is at 8, I should be able to now see it not moving. That's actually what happened. So I want to insert uh, global functions, timeline control, stop. So now what happens is, ah, it inserted it there. You know why I keep doing that? And this makes perfect sense. Perfect. So let's actually continue. What I ended up doing, and my problem that continued with this, is I would insert an action while clicked on this particular layer without inserting a keyframe so the action was specific to the keyframe. That's why when I run this thing, my stop action should take an effect straight away. So if I come along in here and I want to do, let's see, control, test movie, in flash, notice they don't move at all because my stop action occurs directly when it plays on one. Now, the way it was supposed to work, and let me go ahead and clear this keyframe so you can actually uh, see it. I want to insert, I want to timeline, I want to, okay. So it should be 8, right? So I want to insert timeline keyframe. So there's my keyframe. That's when I come along right here when I'm looking at 8, and I want to do my action panels, windows, actions, insert, global functions, timeline control, stop, right? There's my stop action. Now it goes on. Now I have an action associated with that. Now if I come along in here and I do modify, timeline, clear keyframe. Ah. All right, let's, let's do that again. Modify, timeline, clear keyframe. So now I've cleared them all out. Now I want to go into my 8 one. Wow. At least I'll know how to insert keyframes when this is all said and done. Insert, timeline, keyframe. Then I want to go to my actions panel. Those of you that are having problems with inserting actions should not have any problems after I do this. Insert actions, global functions, timeline control, stop. So now i finally gotten, after three attempts, i finally got my keyframe to work. And the way it works is... Now when I go up to uh, Control, Test Movie, In Flash Professional, they go a little bit and then they stop because it reaches along here and it reads that stop action. But notice the stop action does not apply to the movie clip, which is kind of the point. Now that I want to come along in here and I want to do my Modify, Timeline, Clear Keyframe, never forget that. Now I've done that. I want to click on Frame 1 of the stop action. And it's talking about putting a stop on frame one, which we've done plenty of time, which I'm not going to worry about. So that, that was Flash 8-8, 8-9 for pages. And that goes really more so into inserting stop actions and play actions. So if I wanted to go, I could, I could come along in here and insert a stop action. And I could come along on 8 and insert a, um, play action so it would actually reverse the two. But whatever the case, you realize, and this is kind of the point, is that my movie clips are not uh, affected by a stop action or a play action. They're only affected if I assign it to um, buttons. If you recall uh, our lesson where we did fireworks, where I had the plus and uh, the pause and the play, that was affected in that particular way. Well, thank you very much. Um, that concludes Chapter 8, Flash, Lesson 1. And if you have any questions, please let me know.